Hey guys, Josh with JE Vintage Minis in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we'll do some uh, engine talk on uh, on this video as far as just the uh, piston uh, and rod designs for these bikes. There's a lot of confusion with people uh, having worn out engines and then going uh, online and buying a rebuild top end kit. Uh, I just want to uh, kind of help clear that confusion up when you're selecting a kit or parts and pieces to rebuild your bike based on the year. You need to be aware of the uh, rod length and the piston design that uh, is used in your particular year bike or you're going to end up uh, getting something that isn't going to work for you. The is based on doing a stock engine rebuild. We're not talking big bore kits with uh, race aftermarket cylinder heads. Those kits have pistons that are designed to work with the factory cranks and their piston is designed to then work with their cylinder heads. So we're not going to get that confused. We're, we're talking about a stock cylinder head, uh, standard you know, bore, and a stock style piston with the wrist pin in the correct location for the correct uh, rod length and cylinder head design. All right, so this is a crank, this is an assembly here, the crankshaft, and this is your rod. We're going to be talking about the rod and piston. So that's your rod. All right, so there's two de designations, a short rod engine with the old dome piston, and then a, a long rod engine with the new dome piston. Vintage bikes, 1968. The 1981 have the short rod old dome and that's going to be a CT70, a Z50, CL70, XL70, SL70, uh, passports or C70s, uh, 80, 1980 to 81 have the short rod. The exception to the rule are the later ATC70s all the way through 1985 and the 86 and up TRX 70s, those all have short rod uh, setups. All right, so what we'll consider a long rod and new dome engine are 1982 and up engines. So you have the Z50, 1982 through 99 are gonna convert over to a long rod and new piston new dome piston, your XR50s, a ZB50 which is a 1988 bike only, the Passports 82 to 83, and then your CT70s uh, from 1982 and up all have the long rod. So if you're dealing with a vintage bike as shown here in the 1968 through 1981 year, you're going to have a short rod and these eBay kits or Amazon kits that you can find that uh, say they refurbish your top end with a new cylinder head, a new piston, and a new jug kit, uh, those are not going to be compatible with these short rod years of engines. They will assemble, but as a result, your rod is not designed for the wrist pin location and the piston dome of those kits. And as a result, it will have clearance, it will run, but it will be really low on compression, really low on power. So um, we don't want to buy those eBay cheap kits. There's not really a cheap solution for these year bikes. Uh, my only recommendation is to uh, rebuild what you have, your factory head, bring it to a machine shop, have them service the head, cut new valve seats, put new valve train in. Uh, if you need to have your bore jugged, go ahead, or, or your bore uh, re-honed or bored and re-honed, have that done and uh, order the correct piston that works on the short rod and I'll show you where you can find some of those items. So just an example, there's multiple listings for these kits. They're, you know, the cheap kits that you see. Uh, 
but these will these will not work on the short rod engines and as you can see the descriptions say ATC 70 and a CRF 70 that, that's impossible ATC 70 is a short rod engine every engine of ATC 70 is a short rod engine and then the CRF is a long rod so how can this kit work for all those different engines it doesn't uh, so avoid buying these kits and I'll show you how to get the correct parts and pieces for your uh, 80 or 68 through 81 engine with a short rod. Uh, one Honda parts house for the vintage bikes is Northeast Vintage Cycle out of New York. So, depending on your bike, just come up to Micro Fitch area and you pick, pick make sure you're searching for your bike by year. This is going to help you get your parts that you need. So you're going to go ahead and search whatever bike you're doing by your year. And then you can scroll down and find the cranking rod and piston picture. And then you're going to be able to get a piston that's going to be appropriate for your correct year. So I guess what I'm showing you guys is that you're going to have to piecemeal this this together you cannot just buy this complete kit the other place you can shop at is CHP they're out of Texas tons of parts for bikes and restoration work so you can pick your bike by year again do the same thing click whatever bike and year you're using and go search for the rod uh, uh, exploded diagram of the piston and rod and crank and then pick your piston based on the year another good company is Fat MX they're out of Canada uh, you know, you can go and search through them too, based on your bike year. Um, again, you're, you're going to have to put these parts and pieces together, but this way you're going to ensure that you're putting the right piston on the right rod instead of buying these Chinese kits. There's another example on Amazon of what not to buy again for the short rod, but these descriptions are very confusing and misleading because again they have an ATC 70 listed with a CRF 70 which are two totally different rod lengths uh, C70 uh, an SL 70 which is only a short rod so a short rod cannot use the same thing that a CRF 70 even so obviously this thing's got a poor rating and this guy's writing about how even though it says ATC 70 it does not fit and then he's actually got a picture here we can see the differences so stock piston for uh, ATC 70 on the short rod and then this is what comes with a kit and the problem is is that the wrist pin height these are the wrist pins where the wrist pin goes through the uh, piston you can see where the wrist pins are even to each other and see how much shorter this deck height is on this on this kit piston much shorter so you're losing all that compression uh, it will clear, it will run, but you're going to be low on compression on it. So you can see actually a, a physical difference between what the piston needs to be and what these kits are providing to you. So this is a Northeast Vintage Cycle. Uh, this is a TB Parts uh, aftermarket kit. So we're talking cylinder head now. So uh, like I said, it's best just to rebuild your factory cylinder head if you have it. Uh, TB Parts has a nice kit. These uh, valves are actually really nice. Uh, they'll give you new springs, uh, rocker pens, rocker arms, everything. I think it's like 75 bucks to get that uh, valve train kit. Or if you want to shop for the Honda parts, um, you know, rebuild your head, get your valves, uh, buy some new Honda springs, uh, inspect your rocker arms. They're usually still usable and a new seal. Uh, but this is just me trying to push you guys to rebuild what you have stock. Uh, and stop trying to throw this Chinese junk on that doesn't work. So your uh, only option I would recommend if you were going to buy a Chinese top end kit, you know, not these fifty or seventy dollar kits on eBay, which I'm, I'm telling you don't work. Uh, Doctor ATV or Beecher's Cycle. That's his URL to this quick fix special. He calls this kit. Um, you can get the the kit includes a Lifen E22 aluminum cylinder head and you have to get his piston that works with the cylinder head but it also works on the short rod of the 68 to 81 engines 
he doesn't have his piston on this page for some reason. Uh, maybe send him a message. I'm not sure if he's out of stock or what's going on. Uh, I've used this kit on a bike. It works. Um, it's a nice piece if you want to spend, but I think your total out the door once you put the piston, a matching jug, and the head, it's probably around 200 and. 40 bucks or something shipped so you're definitely out there as far as price goes uh, there's other options you know you can go big bore you're getting close to that price uh, or as I recommend just rebuild your stock head if you have it and uh, repurpose your original parts which will be a little bit more in the long run but then you keep in your bike stock so just to recap and I'll, I'll put it in different context these kits work but they're only going to work on a like an 82 and up engine with a long rod it's good for xr70s uh, crf 70s uh, and a later 82 and up ct70 it will work but it will not work if you have the more vintage 1968 z50 up to the 1981 ct70 z50 engines these are not designed the right way, so I uh, just want to make sure you understand that thoroughly. So get connected with the local machinist in your market. See if they're willing to do the work for you. Uh, I know that like a Z50 jug, it's a 39 millimeter bore. Uh, most machine shops don't have a boring bar or boring head that can fit down in that small of a cavity. Um, but try and see if you can get someone local to do some work for you. If not, I'd be happy to talk to you about some pricing. Give me a holler. I'll get you squared away if this is what it comes to. I'm in Orlando, Florida. You can always mail these parts and pieces to me. It's not very expensive to mail back and forth. Uh, be happy to kind of get you a whole head set up. I'll do all the ordering. I'll get all the right parts for you. Uh, so if you want an easy button, give, give me a call. Hope you guys appreciate the video. Uh, I got more coming out. Uh, please, please subscribe. Thank you.